Blood Arm, my name is Mr. Smart Onky. Welcome back to the Great Wall Road, where in the last episode we encountered a whole string of game breaking bugs, making us having to restart the campaign essentially. So I'm gonna do a new campaign, but I'm gonna go through it a little bit faster than before, so I'm not gonna bother reading everything and going for the intro thing, because we've seen that in episode one. There's no need to see this again. This is just going to be episode 3. I'm not going to restart the entire series. I'm just going to continue, essentially, but with a new fa uh, save file. So, I can just skip all this stuff and just get right in it. Hopefully I can... Well, I should be able to skip the uh, tutorial messages. Don't have to read them all anyway. But yeah, this is really weird. I hope. Hopefully it'll work from now on. Alright, we're going to go with Floki again as our leader. Uh, we don't need to see any of this stuff. Get out of here. Right, so farming two, hunting three. And I want one, one, two, and one. That's the stuff I want with the first time around. I'm going to still do the same, like, tactic because I feel like I just want to test it all myself first before I go into any other stuff. Roof of the one of the storage huts is on fire. Uh, move the oats to the hall. This is the one we actually got on the last episode rather than the first one, but that's okay. Ah, spring has finally arrived. We've got six pelts. Our leader, rain porridge, blah, blah, blah. All right. Home settlement, no one cares. Okay, so we're going to have a look at that. I don't need to see this. Warband again. So let's equip people with better weapons. Now that we know that we actually already have some laying around. We already have an ash war spear. And you got one as well. And that's our entire team already decked out. Actually, I should have a look at armor. I, don't, I haven't looked at armor at all. Might be some other armor. Oh, hello. Okay, so we've got Huskar armor, heavy warrior coats, and Danish warrior's coat. This looks like it's probably worse. Okay, so this is 220. Is that the same volume? Yeah, it's the same volume. Equipped character becomes a heavy unit. Oh, that's why she's a heavy, because of this thing. Okay. 2% protection, protection against stun, broken ribs, and broken shield arm. This is just plus 2, plus 2. And this is also heavy, also plus two, plus two. Okay, so the Huskarl things are just by far, like, well, not by far, 2% better than the, the other stuff, essentially. And then this keeps them as a normal character. This makes them heavy. So I could actually, if I didn't want to, if I didn't want two people as heavies, what if I give her, actually, I guess I'd have to unequip it on this guy. Um, give you a Danish warrior code for a second. Then you get a Danish warrior's coats. No, you get a... Wait, what? How do I have all three of these equipped now? Oh, right, she's equipping one Oscar armor. Uh, wait, what, what's the thing that made them not heavy? I thought, wait, what the hell just happened? Did I lose an item? That's weird. Am I just really confused right now? That's definitely a possibility. This is the same item. There was one item that didn't make someone heavy, right? Am I confused right now? What's going on? I forgot to a bug anyway. It's this item right here, the warrior coat. Right, I guess she's wearing that, so that's why... No, that's a different... Uh, I'm so confused. Anyway. Um, plus two attack, plus two percent melee skill. Equipped character becomes an assault unit. So I could equip that and then she become assault instead. I don't know if that's better or not. Let's just skip all this because I'm very confused at the moment. Either way, we now have a weird item on him that's not looking right. But let's go with that. Okay. Uh, so everyone's decked out. I'm not going to buy anything because we've already got the items equipped on everything that we, everyone that we need to. Um, do we? Hold on. We got the right, the right weapon on everyone as well, right? We got an Ash Spear, Ash Spear, War Axe. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, don't care about anything else. There's nothing else in this village, right? I've never really looked around. Oh, man. It's pretty large stuff up there. Nothing to do. All right. Journal. Let's go to our first journey. Yes. Let's take you. You. Congrats. Welcome aboard. Let's load some goods. All the furs, because we know we can sell those there. And a bunch of food, just in case. Let's have... Uh, you know what? Let's fill the rest, almost, with food. Maybe I want to buy something. Who knows? All right. Start our journey. Hopefully without any bugs this time around. That'd be good. Is this new? Oh, no, we've seen this before as well. Get out of here. Yep. I get it. 
I get a game. Wait, who are all these people? Longship appears out of river estuary. Both you and the other crew seem surprised by the sudden encounter. We're we gonna see some combat already. Warriors like that will have some interesting sagas to tell. Yes, and afterwards they can tell everyone how they chopped off your empty head. They don't look like traitors, rather like a raiding party. Oh shit, I've only got. Oh, you stand up on a bone, shout a friendly greeting. Maybe you can get some new to trade. You can see arm rings, helmets, but uh, you wave at them and signal your words to get ready for a fight. You try to gain in speed and. Okay, okay, let's fucking murder them. Life doesn't have, have many surprises left, as expected, they attack. Alright. I guess I uh, properly prepared myself then in this case. Alright, well, we're gonna get combat in this episode, which we didn't have at all before. Wait, is that only one guy? Default enemy AI player pla. Plot card, Saxon. Cheat. Okay. Clearly, something else that needs to get fixed on. Battle event. Right, this is new to me. Turn restriction. Oh, a turn. Okay, so that's a different. Card name, blah, blah, hero class. Card effects. Card type, flavor text. These are battle, card, battle cards. With them, you can add heroes to the battle and or use war cries to power them up. Some can only be played when the turn restriction value is lower or equal to the current turn number. Okay. Uh, you can hold three cards at once. To replace a card selected and press the shuffle button. Replaced cards can be randomly drawn again. Used ones cannot. To add a hero to the battle, select it and choose one of the starting positions to place your hero. To use a war cry, war cry select it and choose which hero you want to use it on. Some cards can only be used on a specific class of heroes. In each battle, each side is a leader that can be identified by an ornament base. If a leader falls, the battle ends. Oh. You can toggle the visibility of the character info by pressing the info button on the top right corner of the screen. That one, okay. Uh, during your turn, you can use or shuffle your cards, move each hero once, attack or defend, skip your turn. Choosing attack or defend ends the action phase for that hero. Weapons have different ranges requiring you to be within distance. Some weapons have two at attack types, you can choose one or the other one attack in. Each attack type has a different hit stance, damage value, and may inflict side effects. Press the end turn button to skip your turn without even using every hero. <sighs> okay. Right. Ah, so I don't start with all my heroes, okay. Is it my turn? Oh, right, you have to click on it. Okay, well, I want Barra, don't I? Um, yeah. Let's place her over here. Welcome aboard. Default user placed plate card Barra. Okay. Can he actually do something? Oh, he can. All right. Let's move him back a little bit. And so, what's this then? The stats. Yeah, I want those on. Can I like keep myself zoomed out, please? Uh, so this is like turn seven stuff. We're on round one, I guess. Is what that is. Shuffle card. Oh yeah, let's shuffle some cards. Can I shuffle both of them? 14 out of 16. Wait, what? Well, they're gone. I guess I got them back the next turn or something. Right. Let's uh, defend. One plus one defense. Oh, she can move as well right away. Okay, let's move up. Yeah, let's get some defense going here. Defeat the enemy leader, I'm aware. I wish I didn't zoom in like that every time. Alright, I think I'm done, right? I'm not able to do any more things. Uh, don't surrender. End turn? What's this? Ah, it's the, uh, log. Kittail and Wedge. And cautious move, right? Because I shuffled them out, I get more cards now. Nice. This guy looks like a beast, actually. A Saxon Carol? Is that a girl? <laughs> a Carol? <laughs> Where can I play? Oh, back there again. Okay, I might want to wait with Barra then. She doesn't look as well, as good as these guys. I don't know what these pips are, but she only she's only got one. I think that's defense or something, but... Right. Um, yeah, let's plop him over here. Oh, he's looking a lot more defendable than the other people. Can I see, like, stats or something? Yeah. Right, it's defense, isn't it? One out of one defense. I don't know what that means exactly, but... Alright, I'm gonna move you up as well. I'm actually gonna move you back a little bit then. Uh, pop some defense on you, pop some defense on you. I'm gonna move him up as well. Because I might actually want to use him to attack as well. Alright, so Wedge, target heavy, plus two defense at the beginning of your next turn. We, well, no one's in range yet, so I guess we want to wait. Actually, are they? She can probably move up to here, because I guess two steps, right? Well, she'd probably attack Floki, wouldn't she? 
All right, one, two, he, he might be able to get there as well. I'm not sure, he might be able to get, uh, we'll see. I don't know exactly how it moves or how it works yet. Uh, target ally, plus two defense, let's, um, that's like quite late, so let's shuffle that one out. All right, got protector and protector, great. Oh, there's another Saxon warrior. He's got plus two defense. She is, yeah, she's moving over and I guess she's gonna do an attack. What's that fuck? Minus one HP, minus one defense. No idea what just happened, but we got slaughtered, apparently. Right. If I move him here, then she should be able to move there, right? This isn't going to give an attack of opportunity or anything? No. Alright, so you move there. And then... Let's see. So wedge is plus, one, plus two defense. I think I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. I guess I can use it. So on him? Yeah. Alright, I want you to attack this guy for 100% slash or actually both 105 what's the difference it doesn't say oh it's both slashes right well slash then boom 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 get fucked I don't know what the hell I just did but that worked out quite well all right you want to murder this person for me 75 or 79 I guess I'll take a slash that has a higher percentage boom 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 she's dead <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what I just did, but we killed someone, so, hey. That's all I will say about that. Let's move him up a little bit. More defense. I think this guy might be able to... Nah, he won't be able to reach. Uh, Alright, let's shuffle out one more card. I guess I should have shuffled them out, all of them, because I can't... I reckon you can play all of them if you have... Or, like, if you're on the, or on the right round. Okay, it looks like... Um, well, we can use them next turn, so I guess I should keep some of them. I still want to get my last person in, though. Right, I feel like I should move back a little bit. Give them some room to come into this place. Wait, he can't actually move. That's weird. Right, I want you to come back here. And I want you to come back here. He might be able to reach there, but that's okay, I guess. I can move there, and then he won't be able to reach, right? No, he'll still be able to reach. doesn't matter. All right, let's do that. Um, so this is plus two on ally. This is plus five on the on heavy. Okay, let's keep both of those. Blind fury. All right. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's got a new person. A sack. Oh god, another one. That's not good. I wonder if we need to actually go on the offensive. I don't know if they've got an infinite supply of men or not. All right. We're gonna set up proper defensive like boys. I mean, their leader's coming up, so as long as I focus him down, I guess that's all right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this. I kind of want to get rid of more things. Yeah, fuck it, because I want my last person on the board. Shit, still not here. Okay, he's got some more defense. Alright, I think this might be the time to go up and attack him. Mm. I think I need to move him there and then her there. That's probably the right idea. Alright. And I wonder, if I just focus him down, let's see, I should attack with these guys and then see how much damage that does. Alright. So if I give... So he's, she's got seven attack already. He's got a lot of defense. I don't know if it's worth using this right now. Okay, let's use this on her. And then see if I can still use this as well. I assume so. Alright. Well, in that case, let's use that on her as well. And then she will just fucking mess this guy up right now. Let's go for the 105% chance. Boom, 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 boom. Get fucked! 9 HP. Minus one defense. Okay, that doesn't. It only got rid of one of those pips, and he already had like plus two, so I'm not sure how useful that is. Um, he's only got. He's got four attacks. You've got five attacks. All right, smash this guy as well for me. That seems pretty shit. Oh, his defense dropped like a shutdown now. Okay, all right, maybe we'll finish him off then. In that case, I was gonna go defensive, but all right, he's almost dead. I still don't know exactly. I like these pips are defense, and then. The rest is HP, I guess, but I don't know quite how it works, really. Ah, oh, there's healed. I think if we kill him, though, then we'll be okay. I surely will survive this round, right? Oh, man, his fucking defenses went up. Oh, shit, Floki. 
Oh god, okay, it's our it's our turn now. Turn seven. Fucking Vera, fuck him up. I may have to run him back. Actually, where can we spawn you? Over here. Uh, sure. And a veteran warrior, let's pop that on her as well. I might want to go defensive. Let's see what you could... Oh, what? I did not mean to do that. Can we switch them around again? Yeah, we can. All right. <laughs> um, yes, mess this guy up some more. That's all defense hits, so I guess that's good. And that's damage. Is he dead? Oh my god. Fucking hell, he just disappeared off the map. Well, I don't know how it happened, but we won, so... I need to figure out what exactly everything means, but I like it. I like the combat so far, but I need to know what everything means so I can actually... Like, figure out when I need to do what. Because right now I was, like, uh, fucking focused on their leader and then we'll win, but... So, Faluki's half dead. And I believe when he's half dead, he doesn't like that too much. Oh, I guess you recover your HP. Okay, cool. Never mind then. Alright, I like that combat. That was that was cool. That was fun. Dankirk. Alright, so there it is. Don't know what this means exactly, but I guess we just wait. That was awesome, man. I don't we didn't get anything from it though, which is unfortunate. Like we got no loot, no like money, nothing. Uh blah blah, we've already read this before as well. Yeah, that's, that's disappointing. We didn't, like, I don't think there's any leveling up either on your character, so there's no, we didn't get any experience or anything. That's too bad. This feels like it wasn't really worth doing that then. We didn't lose anything either, but, you know, want to get some kind of reward. Alright, get out of here. Wait, can we... There we go. Right, um, so you need to stay in this tavern because you're pretty damn unhappy. And you're going to have this guy as company. And then me and what are, what's her face are gonna go out hunting, I guess. She doesn't like that too much. Oh, it's the other one. That, okay, whatever. Don't care about that. Right? Um, let's have a look at a trader. Sell those uh, furs that I came here to sell. Horn combs made from reindeer, deer, or elk antlers. Slaves. Yeah, we saw that before. Right? And then there's the uh, whitesmith. Heavy throwing spear. Oh, that's awesome. So that's for a skirmisher. Okay, cool. Iron mace. Yeah. Her accuracy is pretty much through the roof, so I kind of like that. Um, and then there's nothing in the hall because that would just be for sleeping. Alright, stay overnight. The crew is roasting a goat. The bones start to pile up when a wolf appears. We throw some pieces. We already did that as well. He likes it and buggers the fuck off. For many of you, this is the first time you've left the island in your life. Dan Kirk and its traders are an exotic sight. Kato is amused when you ogle a trader. Oh, right, yes. I'll take uh, the cotton, because that's what I did last time. Not sure if it's the best idea or not. Mission going south unlocked. Okay. R rumor a good deal unlocked. I guess that's something to do with trading. Maybe buy something in one place, sell it elsewhere. Alright, we've already seen this cut scene, I guess, as well. So we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're awesome. We lost the warrior. What? We won a battle, but we lost the warrior. We lost two foes. No, our foes! Where did they go? I guess we got attacked or something? I don't know what that means exactly, but alright. Fine. Maybe I do get a kind of reward or something. Oh, I got energy back and mood. Oh, we already got. Yeah, I saw that last time. Never mind. That's not new. That That's not special. Alright, year two. I'm gonna keep playing a little longer, just to make sure that the game doesn't bug out or something. Because I can't, like, back up the save or anything. Like, there's no way for me to fix, like, if there's a bug. So that's kind of problematic. I'm really enjoying the game, though, so if it does bug out, then I would, pro I would definitely wait until the full game is released and then play it again. Like, I really actually want to play this game. It's a lot of fun so far. I, I enjoy this. I enjoy the combat. It's right on my own. This is like the game for me. I'm going to go for a similar build as before, as I did last time. So, free warrior and then two traditions. I seem to have lost less people this time. Unless that actually might still happen in a minute. I will go for Craftsman's at some point, James Gast, I think it was, that su uh, suggested that. 
Oh, I got an extra farmer, an extra hunter, an extra warrior. Nice. Okay, so we lost the warrior. We gained one back. Our population is 38 now. Okay, well, it seems like this is going much better than it was before. So, if it, if it does work out that the game saves now and works properly next time, then at least we'll be, like, better off than we were the first time we played. So, that's good. Right. So, we have a quest now. Let's have a check the map. All right, we're still here. Good. So right now it's not bugged. So let's continue on for now and like got to the next village or something. There was a, a a known bug. I think they mentioned in like the notes for when you take the key from them, um, which is basically the game can't save properly when you have a mission complete or in the location where you got a mission complete. So I want to always save before I finish a mission essentially. Anyway. Um, is there anything I want to even look at right now? We haven't got anything to do, really, so let's get on with it. Get to the next mission. Right. We've already read this, but anything after this is new. So we're taking the same people. And we're going to load some goods. We actually aren't going to sell any. Well, we're not going there to sell stuff, so I'm not going to bring everything. I'll bring a bunch of food again as well, just in case. 20 food will do. Oh wait, did I not take anything? I think I pressed max instead of something else. Uh, fuck it, let's just bring 10. Let's bring that one cloth with us. I don't know. Right. We're going to Hama, boys. Please don't bug out on the ship sailing thing. Yes, we've seen this. Yeah, I doubt it will. Ah, yes. <laughs> for, for a second there, it looked like it was going to get bugged out again. But then it fixed itself. Alright. I think this over here, by the way, is the population of the place that we're going to. Because I, I saw that in someone else's video as well. Where their, that number was different from their town. Alright, we're, we're completely new area now. You've certainly improved as a crew, after that one mission. Most of you can hold a rowing ribbon now, despite the pain in your arms and backs. Kato has been working you hard, practicing the shield wall every night. Everyone is relieved that once Aksum comes in sight. All right, Arxum. Arxum, the Borderlands. After meeting the local chieftain, a young man approaches you, has inherited a small farm, which comes with a Danish thrall. He's selling the farm as it only provides meager returns. He's planning to hand over the thrall to the local Woden, Woden priest when you arrived. He offers to sell the Dane to you. If he truly is a Dane, when do we should buy him? Who are we to withhold a sacrifice from Odin, even if they call him Woden here? Either we buy him, or they will hang him from a Woden oak. Okay, hold on. Comes with a Danish thrall. Ah, oh, right. Right. Pay fine silver to the man. Do you want to insult Woden with a sacrifice like that? How much do you want for him? Who am I to prevent the sacrifice? At least give him a sax. Give him a sax to hold on to. Um. You pay fine silver for the old man. Do you want to insult Woden with a sacrifice like that? I don't quite understand this one, but let's just ask how much he wants. The price is too much, too high for a grey beard, and you are walking away. The young man calls you back, and you settle on your on your last offer. I got one population. We lost eight silver. <laughs> That's a fucking bargain. <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be like 150 or like I don't know something like that. Eight. Fuck that. No problem. All right. So I'm going to. I, d I don't want to close the game anymore. I feel like it's gonna get fucked if I do that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'm gonna try to see if I can back up a save or something. And then in case it bugs out, I've got this one. But I, d I have no idea how this is gonna work. So hopefully the game will still work next time. But we'll have to wait and see. I need to close it at some point, so it may as well be now before I invest too much time in it. So I will see you guys next time. But whether it's to say farewell to this game or to continue it is a different story. We will find out then. So until then, have a good day and goodbye.